Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to cut and paste pictures together. And uh, personally, I'm going to be using GIMP. It's a lot like Photoshop, but it's completely free and it's open source. So I've got my uh, headshot open here inside of GIMP. And to add another photo to this, it's pretty easy. All you do is you select your image. So I've got a picture of the Earth here. I'm going to drag it up and in. And there you go. And uh, to, get this, to get this to move around my image, I'm going to select the Move tool and move it up sort of over to the corner here. And you'll notice that it's created its own layer, so I can turn these on or off individually, which is a pretty nice feature. It's a very Photoshop-like feature. Zoom in just a little bit. And now I want to cut out that black background. To do this, I'm going to zoom in just a little more on the Earth. And we're going to select by color, select that black area. And I'm going to invert my selection, so select Invert. Now, to make sure that these little spots on the Earth don't get deleted, I'm going to say Select Toggle Quick Mask. And this is very much like Photoshop. Photoshop's got a pretty slick quick mask feature, and so does GIMP. So it used, works exactly the same way that Photoshop does. We're going to select our paintbrush. As we begin to paint, that red means it's going to be deleted, so we don't want to do that. The black will add it to the selection, the white will subtract. So we're just going to flip, this, flip the colors there, and we're going to begin painting inside of the earth with this white, making sure that nothing on the inside, none of those black spots end up getting deleted. All right, that looks pretty good. So we'll say select and toggle the quick mask back off, and you'll see now it's just outside the earth that's being selected. So we'll right click on the layer and say add layer mask from our selection and click add. And there you go. The background is completely gone. So I'm going to zoom back out real quick. And that's looking pretty good. We'll select none just to get those dashed lines off. Last thing I'm going to do just to make this look a little bit cooler is with my image selected, I'm going to say filter, light and shadow, and click on supernova. And so what we want to do is we want to line up the center of this nova with the center of the earth. So right about there or so. And I'm going to put the radius all the way up. And we're going to change the color to more of a white color here. And we'll increase the, the length of the spokes, or the, the number of spokes, not quite that many. Probably right about there, so we get some nice big spokes coming across. And maybe randomize the hue just a little bit. And we'll say OK. And there you go. And you'll notice because this is underneath our Earth, it looks like the Earth itself is casting these rays across the photo. And so that's blended pretty nicely. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to cut and paste images together using GIMP. I'm Josiah Ray.